Hello, I'm Pablo Stanley, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about Mucho, a tool that allows you to create any type of design using AI. If you want to install Mucho, just go to mucho.ai, and you're going to see here all the different things that it can do. It can do landing pages, create brands, photos, doodles, slides is also coming soon. It can now create social media and also remix your designs. And you can just learn more about it and to install it, you have to get the Figma plugin. So go to the Figma plugin, and once you install it, you'll be able to use it on any Figma file. Once you install Musho, then you can just open it from Figma. Just put Musho here, and then it should open your plugin. Here, it's really simple. There's just an input prompt that allows you to create anything. Also, we have some examples that you can use just to try it out. And then from here, you can go into different modes. You can go into landing pages. You can go into social media. It's a new thing. You can go into experimental mode, which is something that I'm going to show you later, and also slides. But that's coming soon. I'm not going to show you that yet. <laughs> so let's take a look at what we're going to see in this video. We're going to learn about landing pages, remix and iterate. We're going to create a social media post. Uh, then we're going to see how you save and you can access different threads. Also designing with stylist. I'm going to go ahead and open Mucho and copy paste the prompt that are already. So you can see here that create a landing page for Pixel Crafters, which is a science studio of innovative and user centric product design. Here in your prompt, you can be very specific about the little things that you want your landing page to have. And Mucho will do its best to add all of those things into your new creation. So let's just hit go. And you see that it's starting to create everything. As this is loading, you can see that crafting digital artistry and they put a, a photo of a cool design studio. Uh, you can see also that it already pixel crafter, so it, an overview, philosophy, or team, things that a design agency want. Even it added innovative design meets intuitive user experience, explore or work. A design studio, you will usually have a CTA about their work. Now here, let's see what it created. It's all good. Oh my God, this actually looks really nice. <laughs> I want to work there. Oh man. All of these images are part of images that we have. They're all uh, royalty free and you can use them. These are all created with AI too. And it put pixel crafters here. It put a footer. Something that is really cool is that it's all responsive. So you can just make this small or bigger and you see that it just will just adapt to the viewport uh, width. Let's test it out. See how it just changes and adapts. It's all responsive. So it's really cool because it's ready for you to just duplicate it and put it in mobile. Obviously, a lot of these things need little details to change. So you can just go in there and change those. Now that you have this, you're going to see that this also created a site so you can share with your friends. Uh, you can share with different people here on Twitter if you're really proud of your creation, but also you can just share a link. And here you're going to see maybe with your coworkers, with someone else that you want some feedback, you can just share this. Now, something that is really cool about Mucho is that you can also change, not just create. And as designers, you need to keep iterating everything, right? So let's say that I'm going to duplicate this section since it's out to layout already. I can just have these two. And then on this one, I'm going to change it. I'm going to say make kit about the pixel crafters awesome team just with that kind of prompt uh, i want to tell it make this section this text about the team it's just going to iterate it's going to detect that there's text field there and it's going to change it really quickly so with the pixel crafters team design and use a little merge to create unparalleled digital experience so see and here i can just like compare Hey, I like this one better, so I'm just going to delete this one. You could even change the subject and even change the photos. So here, for example, we have all of these photos and we have the copy. And let's say, let's go wild and say, we want this to be about flowers. So I'm going to hope that now the images are going to change. <laughs> and now they're about just like flowers. 
Now, let's say that you want to create a social media post, maybe for Instagram or for Twitter or for LinkedIn. Musho can help you with that too. So let's open Musho. So now here in social media, I'm going to copy paste the prompt I already have. It's about creating an Instagram slides about pixel crafters. And I'm adding more context there too. So I'm just going to say, hey, start creating this. This is starting to build these slides. It's starting to put one by one. So here you see that it created different slides. The first slide, it even added little details like here, for example, pixel crafters. And then it added here, innovative interfaces. It seems like it's adding different images related to product design and it's getting into Game Boy design too. The cool thing is that all of this stuff is responsive. So you can make it square or you can make it horizontal or vertical. So maybe I duplicate it and I just make it square. Maybe I want to make them horizontal too. And that way I can just the same content I can adapt to different media. Now, let me show you some of the experimental stuff we're working at in Musho that allows you to save a brand or a company details so you can just reuse them later in different projects. So for example, I'm going to go over here and you're going to see that now this UI, uh, this experimental UI is more chat-based. Uh, now you can add stylus. For example, I have one for Jogo Studio and then there's the default, the Musho one, but let's create a new one. And then on the new one, I'm going to copy paste the description that I already have, and I'm going to call it pixel crafters. Then I'm going to add a color. I already have a color here. So I'm going to put it as the brand color. You can even add fonts if you want to. Let's say that we want to use enter. You can add multiple fonts. You can add multiple colors, but for now, let's just keep it simple. So now that I have it as a stylist, I can just select it. I don't have to keep explaining what Pixel Crafters is about. It already knows everything and even knows brand colors. So I can just ask it, make a landing page, and it's going to suppose that it's a landing page for Pixel Crafters. And there you go. Now it created a landing page with the colors that we gave it. It also used the font for the body of it. It was able to also use another font for the rest of the website. And it's looking really good. It feels really simple and it feels on brand. So that's it. Those are some of the updates that we have in Mucho. And we keep updating these things and we just keep putting it out there so people can experiment with these. Next thing that we're putting is that you can create any UI component or any kind of graphic design like posters and slides or anything like that. We're really excited for you to keep trying Mucho. Thank you. Bye.